Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to easily import a Minecraft Java Edition world, any size, into Minecraft Bedrock. Uh, there's one method you can do, which is using a website called Chunker, but I found this method is easier, and you can import larger worlds. So, we're in Minecraft Java, and we're just going to import this world. It's called IO. Okay, so this is the world called IO. IO that we're gonna import to Bedrock. You can see it's in Java. This is obviously Java edition. We got some villagers, Billy Bob and Billy. We have just you know, random stuff to show you that'll import it. We have stuff in an item frame, doors, redstone, some stuff in the ender chest. So this will import entities, items, everything. It'll be like nothing ever changed. So we don't even need to be in here. So let's just leave. But you're going to want, just in case, you don't really have to, but I would click edit and make a backup. Just click this and wait for the message. Or quit this. Go into your Minecraft saves folder. So you type this into, you do Windows button R at the same time. Type that. And then you go into saves, dot minecraft, saves, and then we have the world called IO, and then we're just going to copy, and I'm just going to paste it onto the uh, desktop. There it is. Okay. Now, you're going to want to go into the Windows store, and you're going to type JE2BE. -E. And then you're going to install this. I already have it installed, but you're going to install this. It's a map converter from Minecraft Java Edition and Bedrock Edition. So you can actually convert Java to Bedrock and Bedrock to Java. So once you have this installed, you're going to want to search for it. You're going to open it. You're going to click Java to Bedrock. And then it'll list your worlds. So we want to click I.O. So you're going to just click it. You're going to click Next. And then it's going to show you that. And then you're going to click Start. And then you're just going to click Save into Minecraft Bedrock Save Folder. Completed. Okay. Now, that was really fast. You are going to open Minecraft Bedrock. Okay, we are in Minecraft Bedrock. You're going to click play. And then look. There's your world. IO Creative. 14.7 megabytes. Now I did do this world, which is 452.9 megabytes. And this went through. It took about three minutes to import it to Bedrock. But you can import basically any size of world. So we're just going to go into IO. And you will see that everything is the exact same as it was in Java. Okay, so we are now in Bedrock Edition. On the exact same world. You can see everything imported. Billy Bob and Billy are still here. All your stuff is still here. Holy crap. And then what you're going to gonna want to do is at first you're not gonna be able to do any commands but you're just gonna go into this and then make yourself a operator and then you can have your regular commands like that so yeah everything's here all the redstone everything is exactly how it was. All your stuff's in your ender chest. Now, in Java Edition, these had a bunch of crazy uh, enchantments, but in Bedrock, that's not really possible, so it didn't really import that over. But they're still here. And then you got your books. It even saves the books. Redstone doesn't get broken. 
I don't know what that was. You can. I'm not. Do the command blocks import? I don't know if command blocks. Command blocks import. Even this is imported. And then here's some old villages. You can see this is definitely a Java super flat world since in Bedrock, villages don't even generate in super flat worlds. And you can see the render distance, how much better it is on Bedrock. Now the only thing weird with bedrock is if you have like towers like this when you get far away from them they like vanish see iron bars work completely differently they look completely different but everything's here. And this world was built before Bedrock Edition even existed. See, all the redstone works. So, yep, that's how you import a Java world into Bedrock. So if you want to play with somebody on a world and you don't want to deal with a Java server and they or if they don't have Java, you can easily just import the world over and everything will be saved. Yeah, villagers spawn differently. They spawn with jobs. In bedrock. Okay, thanks for watching.